All right, time and temperature check. It's about 3 p.m. Friday, March 9th, I believe, 2023. As you can see, it snowed yesterday and last night. Current air temps about 36 degrees. And they're probably going to be dropping down to the low 30s. 20s. Oh, I hear those cranes. Oh, there they are. They're flying. It's like there's a lot of traffic here. A lot of footprints in the snow. But there's really nobody here right now. Okay. I'll continue with my float and fly. Water looks a little clear. That's what I expected over here. The ponds over here are fairly clear because they get some groundwater. Not much dirty runoff that you'd expect. So I'm going to still um, I still have a chartreuse 1 16th ounce fat fly. I'm still going to keep that in. I'm still going to keep that on the line. Gotta put my gloves on because it is pretty cold out. Let's start with these gloves. It's pretty shallow over here. I mean, the water still is kind of low. Water is usually up about another one to two feet. Michael, can we? How do I get stuck in a tree? 34, 37. So, yeah, basically mid 30s. Still haven't hit, still keep hitting the bottom. Oh, there we go. All right. That feels like a crappie. All right. No skunk today. open up all right with this float and fly technique there's three ways I usually move it either I use the wind to move it so I don't have to really do anything or I just slowly slowly reel it in Something like that. Very gently and slowly. Or the other way I do it. Or the other way I do it, I just kind of use the rod to move it. And of course, now I don't have any bite yet. There's... Oh, there we go. Got a bite. Take it. Take it. There we go. This one feels like a bass but it looks like a crappie. Oh, because he's got some weeds on him. A little bit bigger crappie, maybe. Oh, and I got someone's bobber, too. Oh, that's what it is. It's not weeds, it's just someone else's line. Oh, jeez. Okay. Crappie number two, 34 degree surface temps. Oh, missed him. I may 
maybe throw a little bit of scent on this. Should I? I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Maybe though. Swallow it a little more, hang on to it a little longer, who knows. I'm talking 34, 35 degree water temps, so. Anything that will help. Another crappie, I can tell. All right. This one looks like a little bit bigger. Just a tad bigger. I mean, the water's so cold, they're not going to be chasing this bait. So you basically have to present it right on top of their head. So I usually like to try to throw it back to the same spot. Oh, not there. Oh, Michael. Oh, man, I'm going to have to go down there and get it. to scare all the damn fish. Okay, Mike. Oh, where did it go? Oh, jeez. Try to do this as quietly as I can. Oh, barely hooked. I'm just a little hair jig out for a stroll. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> number, f number five. They're all about the same size. Mm, thank you. But it's still fun. Boy, you didn't, you didn't give much of a fight. Oh no, here we go. Oh, oh no, here's my dilemma, number nine. <laughs> number nine, mm, thank you. Okay, so I just said this is going to be my last cast, but I also said I wanted to get double digits. And I'm losing the feeling in my toes and fingers. Let's just hope this is the last cast. I catch one on here, I get 10, I'm leaving. 
Okay, we're just going to have to call it. I'm not going to get 10. I'm losing... Oh, got to get this bobber. I'm losing the feelings. I'm losing the feeling in my hands and my feet.